Welcome back to the channel. So today I am doing a day in the life of me vlog. Um, I did a poll on my Instagram saying which one you'd like first. I am still doing the what I take eventing video, but I thought I would do this one first because it got the most yeah, it got the most votes. Um, so I'm doing it first. I'm actually filming this on a day where I have my final A level exam. I'm not really counting it probably should but I'm not um it's literally a four to five minute test for business I've already done my other two like main business tests so I'm not really that bothered about it so I'm literally nipping in school this morning for about an hour should be back for about half ten so that is that I haven't included um my like morning routine with the horses I have already done a video of my like winter morning routine um because they were in at night uh, it has now swapped over but i still thought it would be quite repetitive i don't know uh i'll include what i do in the evenings and yeah i just didn't really want to include the morning routine i've got a video on on it already if you want to go and watch that then go and give it a watch um i filmed that a couple of months ago i have got some very exciting videos coming up i have got loads of video ideas at the moment i've got plenty to film uh someone has asked me to do like a beginner series um like how to tack up your horse how to groom your horse stuff like that if you would like that please let me know and if you really want me to do any other videos and do let me know um i will filter them in somewhere but i have got lots of videos coming up I've got plenty to film and I've got plenty of time to be filming now, I say. I am probably going to be quite busy still with the horses. But I should have more time. Anyway, I need to get on. I've got a friend coming to pick me up to take me to school. I am not ready at all. She needs me to go and get her something that was in my lorry. I'm not going to be ready. I'm just going to finish my cold coffee. I am actually filming this clip after I have had my breakfast. As you can tell, I've got wet hair, which you will see why in a minute. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna let you watch a day in the life of me and I hope you enjoy. The first thing I do when I get up is have a shower and obviously get ready. And then I brush my teeth and that is pretty much my morning. Um, and then I will go downstairs as you can see and it is breakfast time and I pretty much religiously have cocoa pops with an iced coffee and that is my breakfast every morning. So I am now, well I'm walking to the lorry and then walking to go meet the friend. Um, I've still got very wet hair and I really don't think it's warm enough to not be wearing a coat. I'm quite chilly, um, especially because I've got wet hair. But it's fine, I'm next to the road as well, hence the cars. But yeah, I am gonna go and get what she needs out the lorry now and then go and meet her. Uh, I'm gonna leave it here and speak to you when I get back from school. I'm not gonna vlog at school because I don't really need to. So I'm now back from my exam. I am finished school for good now. Um, I felt like I had anyway. It was literally just like, I finished end of last week and then I just had this 45 minutes has to do, but I am done now. All done, so I've come back. It's Molly, his cage. You're not allowed out of your cage yet because he keeps chewing the step, but he is about to be trained to stay out of it. Anyway, irrelevant. I'm gonna go and get changed. My plan is to ride two horses before lunch, probably Duncan and Phoenix, the ones that are here, um, get them ridden. And then I've got something very exciting going on this afternoon, which I cannot tell you guys yet. Um, so I need to fit doing the others around that once I find out what time I'm going to do that. So yeah, I'm going to go and get changed into some riding gear now and hop on them too. I'm going to hack Duncan and probably try and school Phoenix. I will explain the whole Phoenix situation when I'm with her um, and what's going on with her. But yeah, I'm going to go and get changed now. So now change, ready to ride. It is about 11 o'clock, so I'm gonna hop on these two, um, Duncan and Phoenix, and do Duncan first. 
bloody gate has got so awkward. Um, can I do it one handed? Yes, I can. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna hop on Duncan and then have some lunch. I'll tell you what I do over my lunch, show you what I have for lunch. Spoiler alert, I am not healthy at all. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna hop on hunks. I'm literally just taking him for a hack. He, oh, he's so, always oh, sleepy. Show you his droopy Look lip. Look at his lip. He's so droopy. I'm gonna have to get up, Dunks. Oh, oh look at it. <laughs> he says, oh, for goodness sake. Do you fancy getting up? Not very often we get cuddles with our horses. Duncan's not very affectionate, full stop. Phoenix never lays down. Kira is very rare. Rossi doesn't let you near him. And I don't know about Robbie yet. But, yeah. Oh, it's so droopy. Do you not want to be ridden? Do you not want to be ridden? Right, I'm going to get him up. Or if he won't get up, I'll do Phoenix first. It doesn't really matter. Um, and tack whoever I'm riding up now. Um, nice dunks. His lip is so droopy. Um, yeah, Phoenix is up, aren't you? I can hear you munching away. Phoenix. Oh, right, I'm gonna tap one up and get on. I am hungry and ready for lunch. Duncan decided he didn't want to get up yet, so I've tacked up Phoenix. Um, she's all ready to so go. I I'd quickly explain the situation with Phoenix. I've got my mum's hat on. It's ever so slightly big, but it's fine. Um, so I am literally gonna school her on the grass while it's soft. Um, probably about 15 20 minutes she can't have much she's had about three and a half weeks off i'm gonna say um basically since my solly hall vlog probably about four or five days after that she's had off um so basically with phoenix she went really lame like could barely walk on her i don't really know the legs if you're looking straight on at her her front left leg um she banged it quite badly, Mum heard her bang it in the stable. She can be quite impatient. And she banged it quite badly. It came up massive, swollen, and she was really lame on it. That went down with some butte. Uh, we did struggle to get the butte in her, but it went down. Um, so she came out from that. And then she has just been ever so slightly lame on the, I think it's been the other leg. It kind of switches and swaps a bit only ever so slightly ever since um we wouldn't have got a vet if it was improving but she's just been this ever so slightly lame for so long and it's only when you trot her on a circle that she actually you can actually tell that she's lame uh trotting on a straight line she's fine and in walk she's fine um so basically the vets have been out they nerve blocked her, they've x-rayed her and they can't find anything wrong. Um, I think she's just being mardy and like they injected her with local anaesthetic and she was so dramatic and the vets agreed that they just think she is quite a dramatic horse. She probably is ever so slightly sore on her feet. Our others probably wouldn't present lame but she has because she is mardy, aren't you? You're a princess. Um, so yeah, I think we're going to have to have a chat with our farrier and try and get her sorted. But they have given me the all clear to start doing like light work. They've told me I can school and hack, but obviously just don't go crazy. Don't do any jumping until we know she's right again. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to do a li quick little schooling session. Um, she can canter and uh, you'll just see she's ever so slightly lame. I will try and video. I am by myself. So I'll see what I can get. But yeah, so I'm going to hop on her now. Um, obviously quite a quick session. And then we'll nip Hunks on a hack. He has actually got up now. Haven't you, lazy bones? What are you doing? So yeah, I'm going to hop on at V.
as you can see, she is filthy. The field is quite wet. So I'm going to take these boots off, give them a quick hose off and chuck them straight in the washing machine to get them nice and clean. And then I hose her off and give her a good brush and sponge off while she's sweaty. So she's now all washed off on her face and her body and she is as clean as I can get her without doing a full bath. Um, so I'm just going to stand, let her stand and dry off a minute while I quickly skip out and tidy up her stable a bit. Um, I tend to just do this when I take them riding, only these two. I do the barn and everything at the end of the day because I find it easier. So I'm going to quickly skip out and sort out the stable. You can hear them baby birds, the baby birds in our feed room. And then I will hop on dunks. There's now Phoenix done, stable skipped out, rug on, happy and done for the day. Now it's Duncan's turn. It's now Duncan tacked up. I just thought I'd quickly point out, um, I don't ride Duncan every day. I'm filming this on a Thursday and I often ride Duncan on a Wednesday and Thursday because my mum does a full day at work. So that is why I am riding Dunks. And I am eventing him in like two weeks time. So some practice as well, but I am only going on a hack today. So I'm gonna go and ride Duncan now. Pretty much finished riding Duncan. He was all right. He was really good for the first half. And then we were like coming home and I like turned him another way to make it a bit longer. And he had a dicky fit because he, he was napping to go home. And then so I like gave him a kick. So I was like, come on Duncan. And he hates it when you give him like a good kick. And then like when you done that, he's just a bit on edge for the rest of the ride. So it was a bit spooky and silly, but not too bad. And he's now he's finally chilled out now. Um, just very sensitive, Duncan is. So I'm going to untack him now. It's about 25 past 12. I usually like to have like about an hour for lunch, but don't think I'm going to fit that in today. Um, so I'm going to untack him quickly. I will follow the exact same process as I do with Phoenix. But I am not going to film it again because I think this video is going to be long enough without me repeating myself. So I'm going to untack Duncan, get him for some lunch and see you so then. Duncan is now done. He's trying to find food. Um, Phoenix is happy. So for lunch today, I am having some, they're called potato slices. I'll show you them once they're cooked because they look a lot more appetizing. But they're actually really nice. Um... As you can see, I am not healthy at all. I will probably eat this whole packet, mainly because it needs eating, um, but also because I really do like them. So I'm going to stick them in now. I think they take, yeah, they take 15 minutes, might be a bit longer. Um, let the dogs out, have a drink and chill out for a bit. They are now ready. Um, this makes me look really fat and greedy. I don't usually have this much for lunch. The whole packet needed eating and I am perfectly capable of eating a whole packet but i wouldn't usually eat this much so i'm gonna dig in eat that now and then crack on again so i've now finished lunch i'm hopefully not too loud or quiet for you i have got earphones in because while i do the um babies i quite like to just listen to music it makes it nice and chill sometimes i'll play it out loud um might chill them out a little bit as well but yeah, so I'm gonna go up to the house yard quickly and grab a little attachment, which I'm going to put on Robbie's bit and start lunging him off his bit. Probably won't like it. He is a bit argumentative. Um, but this morning he got away from my mum when she was getting him in and I don't really want to be making a habit of him trying to basically get away from us. Um, I have a feeling that sound's going to be dodgy. So I'm going to go grab this attachment and then pop over and get Robbie groomed, tacked up. I'm going to pre-warn you, he will be filthy. I brush him as best I can. 
but obviously you can't get the mud off completely with brushes. Um, he's going to come over for a bath probably this weekend and hopefully get him sorted a bit. Um, but yeah, I will try and video as much as I can. Obviously, he is a baby. I don't really want to be spending too much time one-handed with him, but he should be okay. Um, so I'm going to go over there now. I will show you me tacking him up. I think it's quite important to see um so i can show you again i was going to ask you guys actually do you want a um like robbie progress video because if so i will start filming it um obviously i have got a few clips so far but nothing i don't know whether you guys want it or not so basically i'll film from now until he is broken um do you want a big progression of video or not please do let me know um so yeah, I'm just going to go over the road now and I'll see you when I'm over there. So I thought I'd come on to show you me bridling him. Um, as you can see straight away, he's quite like against it. Come forward. Come forward. I'm not going to do anything. Um, so for the moment, I just do it his way. Um, he likes to kind of back himself in a corner and then he is still a bit funny about it, but you're getting better, aren't you? Um, so for the moment, we're just doing it how he likes it um, and very slowly and just let him have a bit of a Mardi. But obviously soon we will kind of train him to be better when having his bridle on. Um, so I'm going to pop his bridle on now. Um, try not to fall out of him, obviously. We don't really want to be falling out of a baby. Oh, yeah. Um, yeah. So yeah, I untie him to put his bridle on just because I don't want him snapping anything. I don't really want it being a bad experience. So I'm going to put the bridle on now. Um, mainly his ears he's funny about. He doesn't really mind you touching his face because he knows what I'm going to do. Um, but yeah, um, he will just back himself into a corner as soon as he realises what I'm doing. Oh no, is he about to go boy day? Boy. As you can see, he just puts his head up a little bit. He's not too bad. Um, I think this bit's wrong. Is it wrong? You really want it in, don't you? Why is it like that? Let's have a quick look, Robbie. I think it's in wrong. Let me have a quick look at it. Um, I'm just going to swap it over. I think it's in a bit wrong. But he was much better then. Usually he backs himself to the corner and he's like this, like he doesn't really want you doing it. Um, but he seems a bit better. He is making progress. He was really bad to bridle to start with. But we're just taking it slowly, aren't we? It should just come with time, the bridling thing. But obviously if it goes on and on, we will sort him out because it's not good, especially when he's being like, he's not staying with us forever. Um, we want him to have good manners, so when he goes to a new home, yes, he has got an attitude though. You're rather grumpy, aren't you? Right, that should be the right way now. Yes, I'm gonna try him again. Um, he'll probably put me to shame now, won't you? Are you good? Good boy. Yeah, this is what we usually get. This like head up in the air. Let's do it. Oh, good boy. Good boy. As you can see, he takes the bit quite well. It's more the pushing it over the ears he's not that keen on. Um, to try and help this, we have been, like, when we're tacking him up and stuff, brushing all over his ears, um, when we're just, like, stroking him and stuff, just straight around all his face, and he probably didn't like me talking so loud. Good boy. And, like, when I'm doing it now, I'm just, like, really touching all his ear and just trying to get him used to it um it's one of them things that Rossi was like at the start and just with time he has come so much better I'm in you for a lot now so I don't mind that do you no um so it's just one of those things he should just improve but obviously if not we will sort him out because we can't have you being like that all the time no so I'm just gonna pop the attachment on him that I brought over. Um, it's my first time using this. 
because I'm going to start lunging him off this now. Um, before I just clipped it onto his head collar, which is underneath. If you are wondering, he does always wear a head collar. Obviously, that will stop eventually. It was mainly because the person we bought him off told us to leave it on for now. He can be a bit naughty to catch, and obviously, the way he's bridling at the moment, it's nice to have something to hold on to. And it doesn't really bother you, does it? Having it on underneath. Um, so yeah, we do just leave that on. But I'm gonna get on now and, well no, not get on him, I mean move, get a move on because I am going to do something soon that I can't be late to. So I'm gonna get a move on now, I'm gonna put his, what's it called, roller on and the side reins and then I'll show you when we're ready to go, yes! So Robbie's now done, that is the first time in a while we haven't had any like bronking, booking or rearing. He was actually much better, so I'm happy with him. Um, had a little canter, we haven't really done a proper canter yet, we've had a couple of strides by accident, haven't we? But we had a proper canter. Um, so yeah, I'm going to take him in, untack him now, slowly. I think I'm going to leave him rugless for a bit. It is like warming up a bit it's like 16 degrees right now um so i think we're gonna leave him rugless for a bit and just let him chill because he's quite warm aren't you yeah and before he came to us he didn't wear rugs anyway so it's not like he's gonna get cold is it so i'm gonna go and untack him now and then i'm probably gonna grab kira take her over and wash her legs off ready and then i've got to go and do something i'm not going far so she can stay tied up in the yard and then when I come back, I'll ride her and do Rossi. So I've now brought Kira over the road. I've washed off her legs and just popped her some boots on. Oh, she's just stands here for a bit. You're smiling, kids. So I'm going to shut all the gates, leave her there for a bit. To be fair, it doesn't really matter if she snaps off and gets loose. She can't go anywhere and she would just stay with them to anywhere. I don't know what the hell that is. That's grim. Um, so I'm off to do my little secret thing. Um... You will be finding out soon. Any guesses, please do guess in the comments below. I'll see if anyone gets it right. Um, but yeah, I'm going to nip off and do that. It's, I'm going to say about quarter past two now. Hopefully we'll be back for about three and then I can hop on Kira, get her done and then do Rossi and then start doing them all for the night. So I'm now back to a rather sleepy kid aren't you um plan originally was to school her but are you free are you sleeping oh very, it's very sunny um first time we've had sun in about a month and the horses are finding it quite difficult there's a lot of flies out um let's see if i can prop you up somewhere a minute let's see um there's a lot of flies out because it's obviously been so wet and now it's suddenly warm. There's a lot of flies out. They're quite hot and bothered, aren't you? Yeah. Um, so the plan was to school, not going to school. After schooling Phoenix in the field this morning, it's quite muddy out there. And, and she doesn't really need to be schooling. So I'm going to take on a nice hack in the sun. Just enjoy my pony. Um, so yeah, I'm going to tuck her up now, go on a nice hack, it's about 10 past 3, so probably bring me to about 10 to 4, I'm not going to go too far, she didn't really need it, I'm going to give her a quick brush off now, tuck her up, and we'll go Kira. The bin man has now been, meaning there isn't cardboard boxes everywhere, so she shouldn't be too spooky, which is good. Um, so yeah, I'm going to start tacking up now. So 
I decided to show you me tacking up. So she's now already pretty bony. So I'm gonna hit hopefully have a nice chilled quite short hack um to be fair she probably could have had the day off but we we'll go on a little hack won't we she looks absolutely knackered <laughs> We are back. The lovely hat hair is out. I don't know what that strand's doing. Oh, I give up. Um, just unpacking Kira quickly. I've took her stuff off. Boots and could do with a little brush off. Um, she was really good. It was nice to just have a chill hack in the sun and just actually enjoy it. You are actually on the floor. Um, so now that is all the horses that need riding, ridden, and it's literally just little Rocky left to exercise. Um, he just has a quick lunge and side reins, or I might have a go at long reining him today. I'm not sure, I'll see how I feel. I might wait for my mum to do that tomorrow afternoon with me. Probably more sensible. Um, yeah, so I might just lunge him today in side reins. And yeah then that's everyone exercise and then i well, as soon as i'm over the road i just start my like evening routine if you'd like um so they are currently all out at well i say they're all out at night they usually are all out at night but duncan has to be off grass about three nights before competition to make sure it's fully out of system because i've never known a horse be so um affected by grass and he is at Shelford on Sunday. He's got a lesson tomorrow. So these, the big two at home, Phoenix and Duncan, are going to be kept in tonight just to make sure it gets out of the system. I would take Phoenix over the road and put her out with the others, but I don't think Duncan will go very well by himself. He's not bad, but I'd sooner not cause a stress for no reason. So I'm just going to quickly brush off Kira, pop her a rug on. And then I'll go grab Marley Dog to go over the road. So I have now got the horse and pup in tow. Um, basically, I chuck Kira straight out. I will show you in a minute. She goes straight out and so does Robbie. And then I'll do Rotty while those two are out. It makes it a whole lot easier for me. And Rossi's quite good when like they've all gone out he's quite good that's them two out kira's having a nice roll robbie is on fresh green grass so i think that's all he's interested I'll in quickly show you this is why i have to wash kira's legs off every time i bring her out of the barn because currently the front of it looks like this so i can get stuck in it so it's now time for the last one of the day which is rossi um i'm trying to make this vlog as honest as possible so i'm going to be really honest with you um I'm not going to groom him. I I do groom Robbie every time before I do anything with him because basic groundwork, he needs it. Obviously the others, I will groom them. I always give them a good groom before lessons and any outings and generally hacking so I don't want them to look a state. But apart from that, I only really brush them when there's mud in their areas like the bridle and the saddle stuff that's going to actually bother them um so they do get brushed but i'm not going to lie and say that i do it every single time because i really don't so anyway rossi um i'm not going to brush him as i've just said he isn't actually very dirty to say he's been out with them all are you so i'm going to tack him up quickly at the moment he's got a stupid little like i think it's called a basket saddle i'm not too sure um, we are looking to buy him a little show saddle which could go with him when he's sold um, But yeah, I'm gonna tack him up in real time and so you guys can see he's a lot further on than Robbie um, Rossi is quite silly. He always has been. He's quite a shy pony. That's just how he is And you can see like the rug is the main thing That he's still a bit silly about but we don't fussy with him too much just because it's getting to a point where it's like he shouldn't be silly about it anymore um so we just kind of 
he kind of just needs to man up a bit. We don't manhandle him at all. Like we still, he still looks after. He's just very shy and he has been since he came. But that's just something that, that's just always going to be him. Um, so we just kind of not ignore it, but don't make a big deal of it because there's not really much point. Um, so he is actually quite good to bit and bridle generally he can be a little bit funny about the little ears, can't you? Well, I think that's quite common. Um, all mine are a bit funny about their ears, not to put the bridle on, but like Phoenix is absolutely, she will not let you clip her ears, like, or scissor them. She will not even let you touch them if you try and bath like anywhere near her ears. She goes mental, so that's quite normal, but he's, he's not too bad, are you? He's quite a good boy and he's so little, like him not throwing his weight around but when he kind of goes to bash you with his head and you push his little head away. Um, he's not going to hurt you are you? And he isn't, he isn't nasty anyway, he wouldn't try and hurt anyone would you? Um, ooh, that's what I mean, like then he's just sometimes kind of I've got Marley eating horse poo. Marley, no. It's more like the rustling of the bug. He's not too bothered about me like doing all the pictures and anything. He's just like the sudden noise and I think maybe the feeling of it on his back. Like I'm leaning over his back end now to undo the other side and he really doesn't care. I think it's more the noise that like the sound of like waterproof stuff like rustling if you get me. Um, but yeah, I just kind of take my time with him. I lean all over him, well, partly because it's so easy because he's so small. Um, but yes, so I'm going to chuck his saddle on. See? How have I managed to cross your reins, Rossi? Oh, I see. So, um, I'll probably time lapse me putting the saddle on because I don't want you to get bored. And then I will come back into real time for putting on the wheels. So I'm, I'm hoping that's a bit of a better angle. I mean, you can actually see. I also should probably point out, I don't really time up. Um, if I'm giving him a good groom and making a bit more of a big deal out of it, then I will time up because obviously I don't really want him running away. Um, but no, he's quite good. To be fair, he's more like spooky and he just kind of stands still and just like goes woof. Um, try and show you what I mean. You know, I've, well, I don't really want to make him spook. Um, so he's just caught with a warning. Marley, you're in the way. Hopefully it's still videoing. Yeah, um, Marley, I'm right in the way. So he's kind of at a point where I can like make the side rings a bit tighter. Like I said, he's about ready to be um, going in side reins. Uh, is it side? No, he's about ready to be long range. So the, the I do I am actually using the side reins to get him in like not a proper contact, but more of a contact than I used before on Robbie. That's literally just so he's got a bit of feeling down his mouth. Um, so yeah, I just chuck the side rings on, I have to kind of play about with them to make sure they're not dangling down too much, I don't really want too much flapping around him. Um, so I have to do this on both sides. I always put my side rings to the second um, gear strap, is that what they're called? I'm not too sure. Um, to do it. Because I don't know if, if that's how I've been taught, I don't know, that's just how I do it. I don't think it will make a massive difference to be fair. Oh, I think that's how I do day, Rossi. She usually is, to be fair. Um, I find it a lot easier to do him when Kira is out and out the way of him, otherwise, she just doesn't really give us any space, does she? No. So that is him pretty much ready to go now. Um, obviously for Robbie, I do make sure I have a hat on and gloves. Um, 
gloves so he doesn't break burn you and he's much less likely to get away. Robbie, uh, Rossi is tiny so I don't bother as much. Um, obviously I should, I'm not encouraging by any means people to be like this but yeah I just don't really take as much caution. Um, for obvious reasons, you, you're a little boy aren't you? But yeah I think it won't be long until we're doing a bit of something with you. I'm actually looking at taking him to a little show um, to do some in hand classes and probably like a little intro a dressage test in about two months it should be about ready for a walk and trot and it's literally it's so low key doesn't really matter if we go wrong or whatever um it's actually quite nost nostalgic i used to go there as like a kid that was when i started like competing all together um so that's quite exciting i'll probably take another baby with him um robbie to keep him company and it will probably do robbie good to be getting out a bit so i think we've got some loading training to come to be fair um but yeah, I'm going to crack on, get lunging. I do him off his bit. He is used to it now. So yeah, I'm going to go and lunge little man. So he starts, he does walk quite close to me, but he is a pony. So he's quite little, aren't you? Um, He's quite good. He just walks himself round. He is quite used to this now. I've probably been lunging him for about a year on and off now. So it is time to finally crack on with him. Marley's come to join, haven't you, Marley? Naughty Marley. Um... But yeah, I'm gonna crack on with him. Don't chew the lunge line, mister. Yeah, so it's quite interesting lunging him. Marley likes to chase after. Um, as you can see, every now and again, he just like spoots and rushes forward, like brings his bum over him a bit, under him a bit. Um, I think that's just him being a bit silly. Um, he is quite good there now. There we go, finally got him into walk. His trot transitions are getting so much better, aren't they? Um, downwards if anything is a bit worse but it'll come won't it Rossi Trapped on. yeah he's so good he's such a good little pony so Rossi's now out I've untacked him and popped his rug on and he's now out with Kira those two are together and Robbie is in that green paddock because I think Rossi would get laminitis and Kira goes all piggy when she's been on grass so Marley dog just ignoring me. Marley! Me and Marley are going to muck out now, aren't we? He stopped stealing horse poo. Mm. So the first thing I do when they are all out is the barn. So I've got nets to do. Quickly skip it out and waters and then I get the feed ready for the morning. So the barn is now done. All skipped out and hey, let's are up. I leave the feeds in the shed for the morning. Um, I always have done so they don't get eaten by mice etc marley are we in the mud again he's filthy that dog that's all the feed's done i leave them in the shed ready for the morning all three of them have to eat, obviously mainly it's for kira um so now's the stable i've just need to take some of that hay out because some of it's quite old the rest i'll leave them for tomorrow Sort this bed out and get him some new water and clean that. It's mud. I don't even know where he's got mud from, but yes. so I'm hoping you can just about hear me. There is some sort of hedge cutter or something right next door. Molly here. Um, the stable is now done. I didn't show you. Sorry. I I'm not gonna lie. I completely forgot. Um, the stable's done. Everything over here is now done. So I'm gonna lock up over here. And then it's time to do the other two, which is probably going to take a while because they're staying in. This is why I hate them staying in. Um, it's probably about quarter to five now. Hopefully done for about half five. Hope so. So the first thing I've done is the nets for tonight because obviously they're staying in. Um, obviously that's kept in the field. I'm going to have to be quite brief for the next lot because I am really running out of charge quite quick so it's literally just my evening routine which i will show you briefly but yeah i might struggle with charge so because of the lack of um charge on my phone i'm just going to show you the before and afters of the stable so you can see basically what i do um 
you have seen me look out this stable before in past videos so it doesn't matter too much but yeah i'll just show you the before and after so you get a rough idea um but i don't think i can show you much more than that so this is phoenix's stable she hasn't actually hasn't pooed before since i um skipped out at lunch empty hay net needs some water and yeah that's phoenix's and then in here is duncan's which yeah as i imagine is much worse um he's always quite dirty with his poos in the state wall so yeah i'm gonna get on with looking it out now that is now both stable done feeds done nets up waters um they're not looking perfect mainly because of the piles of hay at the front that is because the kubota is way too full and everything's just falling off so i cannot take that out till tomorrow um but yeah that's what the stable's done i'm gonna pop them both in and give the yard a quick sweep and then that is me nearly done the yard is all swept horses are in the stables happy and eating so now all that's left for me to do is take this to the field and empty it and leave them hay nets in the field ready to do for the morning so that is now finally all horses done for the day um i think it's about 20 to 6 so not too bad still just me at home don't know where my family is um that's irrelevant so i'm going in for the night now i don't think you really want to know too much more as to what i do in a day basically tonight i um because i finished my school for good i am we're gonna have a takeaway me and my family um i'm gonna have probably a pizza takeaway and yeah so we are going to have that and then literally all i'll do is just chill out tonight probably maybe start editing this and that's me done for the night i'm gonna have to take my socks off because i feel good really morning marley boy um so yeah i'm gonna leave this video here the next one or the one after i'm not too sure i've got quite a few videos to be doing and getting up um but there is a very exciting one coming again i've got another exciting one um but yeah that is me done so thank you all very much for watching i will see you next time um please like comment and subscribe and yeah bye bye